What is up YouTube and X6 Solutions here and today I'm bringing you another video tutorial and this is on how to use your own VPN server on any Android device. So if you haven't already in the previous video I did show you how to set up your own virtual private network. You own the VPN, you can add as many clients as you want, you can use it on the PC but what most of you don't already know is that you can actually use this on your smartphone. So in this video I will be showing you how to install it and use it on Android. I don't currently have any iOS devices unfortunately otherwise I would show you how to do that as well. So you are going to need a few things, obviously you're going to need Putty to create the new user. Now obviously you can go ahead and watch the uh, last tutorial that I made and that will show you how to create new users. I will show you quickly in this tutorial as well but obviously go ahead and watch that first if you haven't already so you know the basics and all of the understanding on how to set up your actual VPN because this is basically a follow-up video. And obviously you'll need a smartphone or tablet or something like that basically an Android device. So I'm going to be using my Nexus 6P for this tutorial. I will record the screen so you can see this, but first of all, we need to add a new client for our VPN. So I did show you this in the last tutorial, but I'm gonna quickly go ahead and show you once again. So open Putty and connect to your VPS. Once connected, all you wanna do is run the open VPN script. So that's bash open VPN install.sh. Hit enter and you'll be prompted with this. Go ahead and press one to add a new user. Now obviously you can change this to whatever you like. I'm just gonna call it Android. Hit enter and as you can see, the client Android has been added. Certs are available at blah, blah, blah. So obviously it's available at root. So I'm just gonna close this because we don't need this anymore. Open our FTP client. Again, I'm using WinSCP. Log in, go to the root directory of your VPS. And as you can see, Android OVPN is here so we're going to drag and drop this onto our desktop now that we have that we don't need the FTP client this is literally the only thing that we need so you can go ahead and close that if you wish so obviously you're going to need to connect your smartphone or tablet to your PC whether that's via Bluetooth or a wired cable I will be using a wired cable just for ease of access the smartphones directory so I'm going to go ahead in the storage and I'm going to go and put this in the download folder now you can put this wherever you like download folder for me is is just really easy to access. So I'm gonna go ahead, drag and drop that in there and it should take a couple of seconds because it's only around eight kilobytes. You can go ahead and unplug your phone or disconnect from Bluetooth. We do not need the computer anymore. So now I'm over on my smartphone. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're obviously connected to some kind of network. I'm obviously connected to my Wi-Fi here or 4G or wherever you are. Basically just be connected to a network because we're going to need to download OpenVPN. So if you search this in the Play Store, you'll see that it has an icon which is similar to the one on the desktop and it has around 10 million downloads and is made obviously by OpenVPN. So go ahead and make sure you install this one and not any fake APK files. Accept the terms of agreements and wait for it to download. Okay guys, so once you've opened the app, it will tell you that it requires a .ovpn profile. Now obviously we have that. So what we can do is click on the three dots in the top right hand corner and click on import. And then we're going to import profile from the SD card because obviously we dragged and put it in a directory. Now my directory is download. And as you can see, android.ovpn is there. Go ahead and select that. And then it will detect all of the config and everything like that. So now we have that in there. All you want to do is hit connect. There will be a connection request and there will be a key on the top of the screen to let you know when it is active. So hit OK and as you can see there's the key and we are connected and it tells you the bytes in and the bytes out. Also packets received and the duration that you are connected. And I'm gonna so I'm going to go ahead and open Google Chrome com and as you can see the IP address matches the VPN server and the ISP is located in France. Now, if you've watched my previous tutorial, you will know that that is correct. So that is literally it, guys. Very short tutorial, but very useful indeed. So now if you're out and about and you're in a cafe, an airport, you know, somewhere that maybe you are you can't get 4G, you've got no service, you wanna connect to free Wi-Fi, but don't want to because, you know, maybe people are sniffing the network, and boom, you can connect to your VPN server. Very stable indeed. And that is pretty much it, guys. So as you can see, we are connected to a VPN for two minutes long. I'm just just going to go ahead and click disconnect and that's it so it's a very very simple tutorial indeed i hope i've helped you in a way comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace